All right, guys. So welcome back to some more Miss Survival. I've got to say it right off the rip. Thank you so much for all the love on that first episode. I knew some of you guys did miss this series. I just don't think I realized how many of you guys missed this series. So thank you so much for all the love on that first episode. I did see a lot of the comments as well, and I appreciate it. So thank you. Second, this thing is looking a little bit different now. The way everything's going to look, the actual landscape, like features and things like that, they're all going to look a little bit different. That's because what we were playing on in the first day would have been the beta build of the game that the developer was building the game on and we're using all the updates on. We had to switch back over to the stable build now, which I believe is a lot better because I've seen a massive uptick in performance, especially frames and things like that. I think I'm running like, yeah, let's have a look. Well over 120 frames right now. And we used to have a maximum of 60. So hopefully it's going to look a lot better without that like motion blur effect. But yeah, back onto the stable build now with all the cool additions that he's brought to Mist. I'm so excited for this. Now, there were a few things that I was wondering with this update. One was fishing in the previous episode. You guys were so good in the comments. And I can't thank you enough. People were trying not to spoil what's in the game for what you've read or what you've seen. But you've hinted that... I could possibly fish and it's got me really excited because when i first jumped into the game i found this let me show you guys we go to equipment look at this <laughs> it's like a fishing jacket or a raincoat or something now this goes hand in hand with the new edition of i think this is like wetness and weight so i believe if you get soaked with a downpour or something like that you've really got to watch out for like i guess how heavy you're getting or how cold you're gonna get and i didn't think that was going to be coming to miss for a long long time so the fact that it's here, I'm so happy about that. I mean, we play it like that anyway. I've got to be careful here because I did hear a wolf cry. Or a howl, I should say. And I don't know where it's gone. Yes, they are in the game now. So we should see them at some point. Okay, I'm so excited, guys. I just want to get going with this. Also, I've seen a few people asking, is this going to be a couple of episodes just because of the update and stuff? No. We're going to be having fun with this. We're going to play it as much as we can, and we're just going to have a good time. However long that is, is however long that is, I guess. So, right, we're going to go back over to where this treehouse area was. Basically, we ended up over there at the end of the previous episode. We kind of moved through here and just picked this area clean, but there will be some new stuff here as well. Look, this wasn't here last time. There's a vehicle down there, a windmill, there's a barn. So we're going to be seeing all new structures. And I should show you guys just some of the things that I found... When I spent like half the day trying to get back to where we were. So slot number one, we have the machete. You guys know. You already know. I have to pick this thing up. I needed a melee weapon and this is just the way you have to go. It says, as medium range, it can inflict heavy damage to the enemy. So we're carrying this on slot number one. Slot number two, we got the revolver again. Powerful hand cannon, of course. Colt 19, uh, 1191, I should say, is slot number three and the M4. I did see this just as I came down from there a second ago. You can interact with this now. I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that before. So interact, meat stew, vegetable stew. And yeah, we're going to be filling up the containers and stuff like that. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to get into all this. This outdoor stuff, we got to live that life. I don't want to live too comfortable. I want to constantly be moving from place to place, have little stashes everywhere. You guys know we've covered this kind of ground before. Right, let's switch to the pistol. And again, I should say, obviously, with this being under heavy development, if you are new to this series, it isn't polished yet. There's still a lot of things that are going to be worked on. So weird things like texture bugs or if we see lag here and there, it's expected, guys. It will get better in the future. It's just that we've been away from this for so long that I just wanted to take a look at it. And I can't wait until we're able to drive that. Oh, also, a lot of people were asking, is this co-op? It's not right now. It will be, though. I believe the developer is working on it, which was like a dead no in the past. But yes... Uh, co-op is apparently going to be a thing and unreal engine 5 as well so i mean it looks great as it is but i can't tell you guys how good this game is going to look on unreal engine 5 right what we got oh there's another machete there oh concrete bag we're not into that stuff yet and we're not we've not got the uh, space to carry car battery there tomato sauce can can i okay you know what we're going to do thirst is lower hunger's a little bit down too let's eat that i love these animations get those calories up in you there you go. It <laughs> doesn't look too bad either. For like, food in the apocalypse? Ooh, why did everything just get a bit dark there? Drink. Come on, get that tasty beverage down here. Yeah. I'm a bit worried, I think. Oh, wait, is it rain? Oh, that's mist. That's mist. Wait, is it? So we look at that in the bottom right corner there. We've got a brand new icon. That's showing that we are getting drenched. Can we... 
Let's close all this up because I'm definitely going to come back here. I don't want all those things to hide inside. We've got a couple of buildings. Is that a bunker? Let's go down. Don't know if anything's in the barn. These things can be anywhere, as far as I remember, so... Let's scan. Oh, shoes. I've already got some on, so we're going to keep them there. What did that do? Oh, that closed the top one. Inside. Can you just close these up? Let's do that then. Close you. Close you. Some rags. Oh, I think... If we have a few rags in here, I think the uh, the way that we can throw the basic one together is just like nine... Oh, nine rags. What's that? Paper. We use that for a fire or is there actually something on that? Pieces of paper used for fire. Oh, okay, so it is. Yeah, it's just used for fire. I thought it was going to be uh, notes of the apocalypse. Some gears. Concrete block. How do we get up there? Climb. The climb animation is really, really nice too. I like that. Open these up. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, wait, we did. We saw one of them climb, didn't we? That's... Yeah, no, that's tripped me out. Let's just leave this open for now. I don't think it is the mist. I think it's just a downpour. So if we stay inside... It changes to green next to the shirt. So you can see it's got like the wet icon. And then outside, it's orange. It's telling us that, yeah, our clothing's getting wet. Does that actually show on here? No, it's not. Oh, there we go. Slow down the rate of wetness and reduce the maximum level of wetness by 45%. Yeah, so it's got to be temperature then. Okay. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this up here, which we can do, yeah, just by doing that. 29C. Okay. There's so much to keep an eye on now. Like, I was playing it before this way anyway, or at least we were we were trying to just emulate the fact that this would be here one day. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was an axe. But now that it's here, I'm, I'm a little bit weirded out by it because it's like we've been playing it that way, but I've not seen animal dung. No, I didn't see that. What does that say? Crafting material. What? Like a bonding material or something? I know you can use it for farming and stuff, but what what could you... It's got to be for that, right? There's some more rags. Do they stack as well? A cartwheel. Oh my god. There's so much in this. <laughs> there really is. Okay, let's just bite size. That's what we got to do. We're going to manage everything now. This is a really good area too. All right, let's climb back down. I'm going to get those rags because if you guys remember, there is a bow in this. And there's arrows as well that you can find. But I'm pretty sure that you need the quiver in order to uh, to be able to fire the bow. I could be wrong with that, but I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing based on memory and it's a little bit hazy right now. So I guess we'll find out, but it doesn't hurt to put these rags up in that drawer. And then we're going to go back into the town where we were over there because the place has changed a lot and you guys will see why. So, okay, it does stack, nice. So we've got five of them. We find four more. We can definitely make that quiver. Can we drop off here? I'm tempted to just try that. There we go. So if stuff does get bad, can we climb up there? Yeah, we can. And nobody stashed anything at the top of this. Okay, good to know. Again, just trying to assess my options right now. If everything goes bad, I've got an escape plan or at least a place where I can get higher up. Oh. Wait, there's... We can use this. I think we can actually use this. Like, plant stuff in here. Like, be able to put a door on this as well. I don't know if you can. Again, that's something we're going to have to mess around with. See, if we, Oh, and like fill that up with water as well. Yeah, this area is looking really, really good. So far, this is the best spot that I've seen. I mean, I've not checked everywhere, but as far as places go, again, could you imagine? Oh, this, I mean, it would drink fuel, but this would be the ultimate apocalyptic machine. <laughs> you can reinforce these areas. Look at that. And you can get people in here, lift it up and rescue them. Get them back to safety as long as you got plenty of fuel and you don't get any breakdowns. Just keep your fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> There's some more rags there. Let's hold on to those. That's a stone. All right, let's check that building down there. Yeah, so far this area. Oh, we can make it our base as well. Let's just do that. I'm just going to go ahead and make this active. I like this spot a lot. Really, really good. We are getting really, really wet, but the sun's coming out now. So we should see that either slow down or when the rain stops we should see the effect of it can we get on that please oh could you guys imagine it's going right in the apocalypse on one of them there's a saw we're not going to pick that up nothing in this 
I'm interested to know as well what other vehicles that we can actually fix up and drive. I know some you can, like, collect things from. You can't necessarily drive, necessarily drive everything, though. Getting way too excited. I can't words. All right, continue on this way. So this is the lake where I am going to probably do most of the fishing. It's got good visibility all the way around. Could probably set a little area up. Maybe raised off the ground just in case the mist does come along. Yeah, this thing here, the housing estate. This is all currently being worked on. Old factory construction site. So we came basically through the spine of the map last time. We checked out a couple of areas here and then we, we ended up down here and then returning back. But there are some spots like this. We've just been here. These areas around the top as well. And then this bit. And further down here. Hunting area. Okay, nice. Right. Where do we want to start then? I guess we should start here and then work our way around. Big old barn. I can't tell you guys how nice it is to have a lot more performance than the games had before. It genuinely feels so much nicer. You guys know me in motion blur. I hate motion blur. It can't, it does. It's not because of what it, it helps people out, but it's more the fact that when I see motion blur, I feel motion sick. If anyone else understands what I mean by that. Oh, wait, bucket. Oh yeah, we need this for, uh, for the water too. That's a really good find. But yeah, I know there was uh, there was a weird thing on the last uh, version of the game that I couldn't really change it. So I was stuck. I had to put it as low as possible, but it wouldn't quite go away this time. Though it's completely off, and oh, it feels so nice in a really cool area. But nothing much we can use. Somebody got all the uh, the cattle ready and just dipped immediately. Anything inside we can use? Look at these tarps, like just draped over as well. That's so apocalyptic. Nothing left behind, no notes. Wonder if that is going to be something we find along the way. Like notes left behind by survivors. Or even little stories from people that we're going to be rescuing. That would be really, really cool. If there's some like uh, like telltale stories that they've experienced coming across what they've seen in the apocalypse. That was the, if I'm not mistaken, that was the gas station. And I'm not sure if you can get rid of that. You guys said if you make a Molotov, you can get rid of that. But I'm not sure. We'll have to test that too. I've not got any of the ingredients to uh, to actually do that yet. Let's have a look around over here. The wheat fields. There's no chance we can get in this, right? Nope. We can keep hoping. Oh! There's the thing! That's the, the seeker. That's the, one of the new... Mutations for the uh, the infected. Oh my! What is that hanging out of his face? Oh my God! What is that thing doing? Has that just found an animal? It's got like the mandibles of of the predator, the Yaucha predator, but it's like. It's like lent over now and it's, it's, oh, it's like a, cr it's disgusting is what it is. Right, we got a little box here. What have we got? Nothing. Let's put, no, no, no. I'm going to keep that on me because that's a good find. Some more animal dung. Can't do anything with the wheat. I'm so scared of this thing now. Still over there. Look at that. I think it's trying to chase something, but the simple function of that brain is just getting stuck on whatever's on the ground. I wonder if there's more than one of them. Oh, there's more than one. Oh. Okay, we've got quite a few rounds in the M4. I've got to take one of these things down. I have to. What's it doing? Is it just so stupid that it gets stuck on the uh, on the bushes? Oh my! Oh! Oh! Don't you get up? No! Oh my! Oh! Oh my god. Guys, I've got chills from head to toe. So this thing, it was... Oh my god, look at that. Pick up the Seeker Claw. Can we make weapons out of these things? Oh my... 
Okay, right, we're reloaded. I need to catch my breath for a second. Reload everything up. What do we have? Oh, I have nothing left in the M4. Oh, I nailed that thing too. And it went into some like weird lay down for like it was in pain. And then I shot again when it was on the floor. And I think that's what put it down. Or I just dumped a load of bullets into it. I don't want to get too close to that thing. If it's if these infected are carrying any kind of virus or something, I should probably make sure I'm wearing a mask or something. <laughs> it's not the smartest thing. Things to just go around wherever they are. I've got an idea of what's going on with them, but we need more evidence, like we've been saying. It's just finding the truth, right? Can we climb any of this, get on the silo? Let's take a look. Yeah, we can. Again, this might actually be a good spot. If there's anything at the top of this, I'm really hoping that we get hands on a hunting rifle soon. There is an area that we saw over to the right. Whoa. And over to the right, that. Oh, this poor guy. You're not going to be needing that, so we'll take that. That would have been good a second ago. I lost my damn mind then when I thought that thing wasn't going to stop running towards us. Yeah, look, this. A rare piece from a mutant. High value in exchange. And it's also an important part that scientists want to experiment. So they want to find out what's going on. They, they need a test subject, and we've got one of the things that they want. 5kg. Damn, these things aren't light either. All right, let's drink this up. Hopefully the mist stays away. I can see the sun. It's definitely creeping down behind the horizon now. So we gotta gotta keep an eye on that. Yeah, it's over there. It's only gonna get lower and lower. I wonder if I shoot this one, if I can bait it over here. Oh yeah, we can. Right, let's wait for it to get closer. There's no sense in just throwing away this ammunition. There we go. There we go. Oh no! That did not just go invisible! Don't climb, don't climb, don't climb, don't climb. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Right, let's back away. Lose interest. Do not want to fall off this. I'm going to be really careful. If we, uh, we have to stay the night here, then I can. I've got supplies. I would love to be able to bait a wild animal like a wolf or a bear over here. Oh, you're going to be really annoying now. Easy does it. Right, let's go this way. I could see it here for a split second. Oh, I see it in the shadow. Oh my god, there it is. It wasn't making a noise in that. Oh! Oh, I see its things opening up. I can't get a shot at this without coming further down. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go! Go! Get over there. Oh my god! God, you're horrible. Oh, you. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, my. Oh, God, I hate everything about you. Oh. Can I drag you all the way over here? Oh, shit. Shit. I've only got the machete after this. Ah! Get over it! Ah! Over there! Oh my god! Go, 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 go! I think we might have to just go. Don't know how far away this thing is going to chase us, but I've not got the ammunition to fight that. I can still hear it. This thing is going to chase me down to the ends of the earth. <gasps> Through the town, right? We've got to work out where we're going. I've got limited stamina. There's a vehicle over there. Buildings. Come on, think, think, think. What about here? If I can climb that and get to the top of this, then at least I can get over that gate. Get over there! Get up, get up! Oh my god, get up! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Do I have any sticks? I don't have anything. And do I have any 7.62? That's for the hunting rifle. Right, we got more revolver ammo. Let's switch back to that. Oh, you piece of shit. Look at it. Trying to swipe away. If I can drop down to this one. And then one more shot like that. Okay, that's it. We're out. I don't have anything else, right? 
Haunting rounds. Get rid of the M4. May as well. This is all I've got. What time are we on? Six. Oh, this is not looking good. We're half health. If I bandage, will that actually give me some more health? I don't know if I'm actually wounded or anything, so... Let's see. Treatment. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We'll recover over time with... <laughs> water and food. Let me... Oh, there we go! Oh! Oh, my... Give me that. Where's the other one? We took two of them down. We have no ammunition left, but we took two of the Seekers down. Where's your other mandible or whatever it is? The claw. Oh my god. <gasps> so these things can roam without the mist too. That's a really further... Like, the, the mutation is really far along. Long arms too. Long legs. His torso looks stretched as well. That's why it could probably run on all fours like that. Right, what we're looking like. Half health. Six o'clock. We've been around this area before. I've only got... Oh, I am legend moment right there. I've only got the uh, the machete to help us now, but... Oh yeah, the house of death. Is there anything inside of here? I know I picked through this area, but I might have left something. Knife, I'm not going to need that yet. It's going to take up space. I need ammunition for something that I've got. We can go further up that way too, but we saw there was, uh, there was a camp down there. Right, let me get my breath back. Oh, so... I had no idea they were there. I thought if they were going to be anywhere, it would be this spot. Or at least maybe in the... Where's the main city then? I thought that was here. Because when you come down this road, it looks like you can see what looks like skyscrapers or tall buildings. Because we're here right now. We're right next to this church. So I guess, I guess we can... Oh, do I want to go back that way though? I don't know if they're going to be back in that area. That's so dangerous. And I don't know if... We're going to be able to find a hunting rifle up here. we got to do something. i got to make some decisions soon because I don't have anything left. No doubt there's going to be more Seekers here now, right? <laughs> now I want to take a look at this area. What a terrifying thing to come across, though. I thought there was only one. And I had an angle on it from far away and I could basically study what, what it was doing. Turn to my right and there was another one right there. This is a cool car. Oh, that's not a good sign. There's... That gas in the uh, in the barn over there. There's a house on top of the hill. Probably the owners. Again, under the tractor. You can see we're getting tired. Stumbling across this area now. Can we get anything from the well? Look, there's another one of these cartwheels. Are they owners home? Painting this place up. Oh man, look at this. Hello? One thing that, aside from everything that's going on here now, one thing that I would love uh, as a survival aspect, if there's any way you can add your voice to the game, which increases the chance of being detected by something in a scenario like this, because I tend to do that. I mean, I mean, know you guys know it's for effect, but if I was to say, hello, anybody there? Imagine if the voice recognition would be picked up and something would come charging down the stairs at me then. It would just be <laughs> so, so terrifying. Computer stuff. Circuit boards and things like that. Can we not make use of that? All right, yeah, there's nothing here. They left this place with a quickness. Looking like they were gonna paint the place up. <laughs> Maybe flip it or something as a summer home or even just fix it up and use the farm. Yeah, we, uh, we're more than likely gotta go from here now because it's getting really dark. Doghouse, I'll find you soon, buddy. I don't know where you are, but I'll find you soon. I think I've just noticed something at the top of this windmill. We might be able to last out the night here. I'm not exactly sure what areas we can uh, lay down in. This doesn't look safe to actually spend the night, but I mean... If we can, then I'll definitely do it. Oh, there we go. Give me that. No, I'm not staying here. This is way too risky. If I turn over in the middle of the night, I'm dead. No second chances there. Get down. My flashlight goes away while I'm climbing down this thing. 
<laughs> it just leaves everything to your imagination when you get to the bottom. I mean, well, we've seen nightmare fuel already, so how much worse can it get? <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> it's probably going to get a lot worse. Oh, there we go. We're over here. Everything you guys can see right now is exactly what I'm seeing. <laughs> it's just pitch black. I can only really make out shapes when it's about five to ten feet in front of me now. Right, the barrels are on. We've got this here in case we want to make a recipe if we have anything. Let's climb this. Hopefully that those things, they just leave me alone where they don't climb up this. That would be amazing. And we can get a couple of hours peace. So I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Something's out there in the trees. I just heard it breathing while I woke up. Take the edge off a little bit. It's cold out here and it's terrifying. Why not, right? I don't think that did me too much good, but might give me some courage if I need it. Let's eat this up. Really, really, really dehydrated. I badly, badly need to find water. Can we drink that? It's unsafe. Can we fill the bucket up? Fill bottle? Let's do that. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. At least I can purify that off if I need to. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so I think we're here right now. And this is the gas station that we're looking at. If I follow this road up, I think that takes me to the sawmill. But I don't think we're going to go there. I think we're going to cut straight through and take a look at this hunting area. The only problem with that is, obviously, there might be quite a collection of animals. The ones I'm worried about are the predators, right? The bears, the wolves... And anything else that might be there. Honey badgers. <laughs> you never know. Ooh. Ooh, that on the other hand might be the jackpot. Where is this though? Because that's on the main road. Oh, it's here. So is this just a collection of shops then? If there's stores and things that are abandoned, then I'm sure we can find something. Soup will do at this point. Just any kind of liquid. Again, worst case scenario, I'm going to get a fire going and just... Purify that water we got in the bucket. I'm balancing it very delicately in my backpack, if anybody's wondering. That's how I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, use your imagination. What we got? This is a horse farm. What? That's a real thing? That's not real. No, I don't know. There's no way. You can't make me believe that. People don't just have horses out front of a store and, like, buy my horse. That's, like, Red Dead Redemption type stuff. I mean, in the apocalypse, maybe not hearing anything. I think this entire town is abandoned. Rags. Pretty sure we got enough now to, to make the quiver with, so that's good. Oh, what are you? Oh, I thought that was toilet paper then. <laughs> it's just some duct tape. I think I'm going to need that, but I'm going to leave it for now. Oh, you guys did let me know as well. If I do find stuff, it's probably worth trying to pick it up. Because I believe the uh, the decay on the items, it happens either way now. So, I mean, that's totally fine. If I can't hold it, I can't hold it. I'll just have to find some more, but... Yeah, it's good to know. Ooh. What is this? General store. Oh, this is a really cool general store. Look at that. I haven't got time to be doing that. Find something to drink. Stop messing around. Register. An old one. More mannequins. Ooh. This doesn't look as messy as the others. What's this? Leather... Single shot shotgun. Oh, this store is really good. What's that? Canister 2.5 liters. I should probably grab that too, right? If that's empty, I can fill it up with water. Let's have a look. If I can get rid of... What's this for? That's hunting rifle rounds. There's nowhere that I can really put that yet. I'm really struggling for water. i got to find that. Let's just eat this. I've got to make some space. I couldn't pick up the spear and the shield because I think I needed more than one slot, but... I mean, I've got enough weapons as it is right now. I need to store them rather than picking more up. I can always come back here to this. This is going to go way further in helping me survive. Is that safe? Oh, we've got to crack that open. Register. Hammer. Yeah. We're getting a headache now. Revolver ammo. Yeah, let's take that. We're going we're gonna to need that. Let's pick you up. Right, so we've got the leather here, we've got the shield and the spear. I don't know if the spear is going to be back, but I think there was... Was there another one? Yeah, there's another one out front. Ooh, okay. We can come back for that. What else is there? 
There's wood. There's some more food. Do I want to take that? Yeah, I'll hold on to it. I've got the space. This is really, really good, though. I am being really loud and just roaming through everything here. I'm usually a lot quieter, but I'm panicking now because I don't have the water. And when you're dehydrated like this, you make stupid decisions. We got an apple. Will that give us a little bit of hydration back? They have plenty of water in them, right? Or juice in them. That's got to give us some... Okay, that's give us a little bit back. Nice. That'll tie us over until we find something more. Nothing left on the seats. Got two rounds in this thing as well. I'm keeping this one out just because it hits so hard. If I had the uh, the shotgun shells, I'd be using that. Let's clear the floor from top to bottom. Oh, we can't. It's got a little balcony area. I don't know what we use these for. I'm excited to know, but... We can make, like, a cart or something. Maybe to put, like, uh, materials in to build with. Yeah, it's probably that, right? And they get broken over time. It's like a diner. Or cafe. Oh, the chef's not still here. No, there's plenty of paper, broken plates. Oh! Canned fruit, does that give us water back? I'm pretty sure this used to give us, like, water and food. Or a little bit of water back with food. You'd imagine, right? With it being fruit. So, oh. There we go. Okay. Take a massive deep breath. We're okay. Oh. Shovel. Leave it there. I'm finding so many different things. My brain is just blown right now. I thought that had barbed wire on the top of it. My brain is blown right now because when I find things like this, I work overtime and go, I can use this for this. This would come in handy just in case we do this or... I think a lot of you guys are going to be doing the same as well. It kills me that I can't pick a lot of this stuff up, but at this point, I'm just keeping hold of anything that I'm going to use in the immediate future, and I can come back for it at a later time. Check inside. Oh, get inside, get inside. Okay. Paper. wonder how tough the wolves are as well. Oh, jeans. We might need that because we might be ripping through our, uh, our clothing, or if it gets wet, it might damage it. Let's check that, actually. Does it do that? 95. 96 on this, and the t-shirt's fine because it's underneath that, and that's 98. Ooh, okay. That sounds so close. Can we climb? More jeans there. I'm not really interested in looking at what's in it. Oh, there we go, it's there. You know what? I'm gonna bring it over. Oh, it ran away. Okay. So they are going to be scared of us. They're not just going to be absolutely terrifying and come steaming down the side of the hill trying to eat us. That's good. Good to know. We can scare them away. Golden gasoline service. I'm <laughs> just taking extra precautions, climbing the ladder. Let's give it a couple of seconds until it might come in. I think it was on its own as well. Imagine how creepy that would be as well, like hearing a solo wolf expecting there to be more than one you just see one because i don't know if that's more terrifying in a group you can kind of keep track of them when it's on its own you could really really easily lose it in the tree line yes some black gloves there should we take those yeah i think we're gonna take those i'm not so worried about the nine millimeter because I can always find more of it, and it doesn't hit too hard anyway, so if I'm going to mess around with trying to dial shots in, it's going to be with the 9 mil. Oh, I would prefer that, that thing not being on my 6 while I'm looking around these areas. I was just checking my map, though, to try and find out where we are. I think we're here. This is this little area. Not entirely sure where it was. Maybe just like a little logging point or something? No, no, this is for me. Look at that with the shopping cart, too. Right, let's see what's inside. Again, still hoping for something to drink, but... Oh, we can't get in there. It's been locked down real tight. I'm really, really, really trying to scratch away at getting something for the hunting, but it's not what I need right now. I've got to be more sensible. If we go into that town, I know the wolf's just gone that way, but if we go into the town, that's going to have supplies. It could have another backpack. Has this got a ladder anywhere? No. Can we power it? This could be a really good distraction. Break that padlock off and try and get some power going to it. Right, this is the old west town. We're still not doing so good. 
Headaches making our eyes hurt a little bit. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. We'll get there. Work in progress. Broken down vehicles. Yeah, there's a lot more of these smaller ones now. What? Oh, I thought something was in the back of the bus. Has that been ripped off? Whoa. No, that's not a seeker, is it? Oh. No! Oh, no, 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 no! Out this area. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Oh, you bitch! Oh, no, no! Oh, my God! I can't do anything with these things! I'm gonna have to use the ladders here. Climb! Climb! Get up, up, up! Oh my god! Oh. Get around this way. Oh my god, I'm so, so, so boned. The wolf came back. Wait, wait, wait. Can we get the wolf to. Come on in. I'm dehydrated again. I can't stay here. Oh. I think it's stuck or it's doing some weird shit. Okay, we're going. That was our window. We're going. I'm doubling back. I cannot play around with those seekers like that. I don't have the firepower to put them down. I completely mag dumped the M4 into that thing and it flipped around once, ended up on its back, and then I had to put it down again with another shot when it was on its back. I don't know if, like, it exposed in its chest or something. Oh, I'm really not doing well. That dehydration's giving us a headache. Yeah, he's still over there. Okay, good. We got away. That was way, way, way too close. If I would have had to wait on the top of that building for that thing to go away, maybe till nighttime or something, I don't really know when they lose interest. So that could have been so dangerous. It could have literally starved me out as well. Because it can wait longer than me. Where are we right now? Oh, of course there's a bear. Of course. This is the hunting area, right? Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three. Back away slowly. Just death. Just absolute death today. That's all everything is. Death and danger. So we're here. Like on this path right now. I can go straight back this way. Yeah, there's nothing there though. What about maybe if I can see across the river? Yeah, I don't think anybody's here. Did anybody leave something for little old me behind? Could we do without taking the wood? No drinks. Come on, there's got to be something. There we go. Oh, yes. Drink. Get that glorious soda up inside us. Oh, okay, that's going to tie us over until we can work out what we want to do with a... Um, actually, get rid of the weapons. Let's put that in there, and that gives us some water too. Because I don't know what we're doing with these things yet, I'm just going to leave the claw in there. Oh, backpack. Oh, yes. So what does that give us? That's given us, and there's two more slots. Oh, that's so good. Okay, oh, wait. Do we have anything on that? No, okay. Well, we've looped back round to the farm. And there's a, there's a tower over here, so we're absolutely going to take a peek in there. There is some wildlife in this area, too, so hunting might be on the cards pretty soon. Can we get across that, or is that way too strong? <laughs> I guess let's test it. I think we're okay swimming. We should be able to get across there. There's no bridges in sight either. What about just a, a run and jump? That might do it. Let's put the pistol away. Here we go. We're going. Oh, come on. Nice. I just didn't... Oh, oh my God. That chicken scared the shit out of me then. Oh, I'm so jumpy now. No, no, no. Right, let's break this open again. Where's the pistol? I was just so scared that the current in that river there would be so strong that it would sweep... Oh, there's a bridge there. That it would sweep the legs from underneath us and we would just drown. So when I made it to the other side and then I heard something, my brain immediately thought, threat. <laughs> we're going to watch out for stuff like that. We can call this home if we want to, but I think we're going to leave it. Anything that we can take? No, this is more or less storage. I mean, I can probably make... Oh, the quiver's only eight. Right, let's go ahead and make that then. Yeah, craft it yourself. Still at 12.30, so we're approaching... Oh.
Right, now we're in it. Some ammunition, lighter fluid, some gloves, some more jeans. Let's put them in there. Using a stash, though, is exactly what I'm talking about. Stuff like this, where I can just put things in. Maybe stuff like this as well, like the towers. That might be my, uh, my safest play. Bucket, right, no, we're keeping the food. Hunting rifle I don't have yet, so we'll just combine those. Shotgun I do have, so we'll take that. Weapon part, no need for that right now. Food, water, the claws, yeah, we'll put them in there too. Maybe later on down the line, if we find someone that knows anything about these creatures that can dissect what these are, we can find out a bit more. Let's get all the food and stuff over here though. I can top that up with water as well. Okay, we're looking a lot better, we're all right. Famous last words as the mist rolls in. I really hope there's a way... Really hope there's a way that we can fortify the bottom of stairs like this. Let's see if I can get eyes on them. There we go. There's two there. Three of them. There are some different variations in these things that are patrolling now as well. Oh, there it is. Look. It's got like a white t-shirt on. That's what we're used to over there. And this one is more or less something new. I could probably take that thing down with a headshot, but I don't want the rest of them to come swarming in like a pack of raptors. We've got a house over there as well. Let's take a look at that. What time are we on? 116. Oh, they go through the wall. Wait, is that another new one? Or something different? Barely see it with the mist. You can really see there. Looks like an office shirt or something like that. That's so, so creepy. It almost makes them human looking. Right. I think I'm just going to take shelter in here for a bit. I don't know what my best course of action is. Lay on my back, keeping my feet against the bottom of this door. Just aiming as if something's coming in. <laughs> Maybe put the filing cabinet in front of this and just waiting this bitch out. But I'll be back with you guys as soon as the mist is subsiding. Oh, it's two of them. We've got six rounds. Come on, come on. Oh, I missed him. I missed him again. Oh, he's stuck. Let's use it. Whoa, okay, yeah, no, we don't want to be doing too much of that. Revolver. Okay, it's going to have to be the machete then. Here we go. It's down. How are we looking? We're okay. You just quickly check because that thing hit me pretty hard. Yeah, all right. Well, we've got the antibiotics if we need to use them, but just checked ourselves over and we're all right. Just a glancing blow. Close this up. Another pistol. We're not going to need that. Oh, animal hide. I could take that. Another pencil. Yeah, we'll hold on to this. Shotgun shells. Absolutely. Okay, this was actually not bad. I wasted a couple of rounds getting through them, but... Oh, some nice stuff in return. What about the raincoat? How's that looking now? 95? Should we just swap this out immediately? Let's just do that because I don't know what happens. Whoa. I don't know what happens if you let that thing get too low. And with the with the whole temperature thing now, I just want to make sure that we're covering our bases. So this one's 100. Equip. And yeah, we're good, right? I don't even actually see the thing in the bottom right corner anymore. So maybe that is because we're inside or we're in front of a fire or something. When we go outside, does that change? No, I'm not seeing it. Ooh! This shotgun has a rail on it. Wait, what? Oh, wait! That's another thing now! We can actually put attachments on the weapons! Oh! I totally forgot about that! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, we're gonna be able to, like, outfit the weapons with scopes and... Oh! Oh, that's just made me really, really happy. I don't think I'd put one on a shotgun, though, if I'm being totally honest. I never really like scopes or sights or anything. I think a flashlight is the most I would go. Even then, that's pushing it. But yeah, I'm really happy that we found that out now. Let's go and take a look at this barn. I don't think it's too close to those guys up there. Having said that, though, snipers can shoot the wings off a fly. So <laughs> I'm not seeing any towers, though, so we should be all right. Just don't remember exactly where they were located. If there's anything in here, though, it's probably worth taking a look, right? Look at this thing with the rail on it, though. Oh, it's so good. Pumpkins, two dollars. 
What is that? That's a seeker. That's a seeker. 100%. Destroy Seeker Nest. Oh! That's what that was. So they nest. So they could be back over there again. Let's just do a, a, a passing trip, see if there's any more over there. They sounded so heavy too. Maybe it was because it was on the, the floor above. Oh my god, those things give me the creeps. I didn't think I would be that bad with them, but they're horrible. The way they chase you down and that you can hear that, like, breathing. The worst thing for me is something on your six like that that you can't shake. And it's just breathing and you can hear it getting closer and then close. Oh, wait, there's nothing here now. Is there going to be a nest? Oh, no, there is one. There is one. Yep, yeah, no. Oh, there's one over there, too. It's peeking up over the hay bale. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not risking that. There's no sense in doing that. Okay, I think we've, we've worked out where our limits are today. We push the limits of our hydration, at least. <laughs> and we got to work out a way of making that more permanent, or a permanent thing, where we can get water easily, access it easily if we need to. If we get into a bit of trouble, we're not really going to be scrambling for building anything. So I think the next thing on our list that takes priority is at least getting a fire going and boiling off this water that we've got as a bare minimum. If I can't do that, I've got to try and scavenge some supplies to make something like that happen. There's the tree house. I actually really like this thing. It's so easy to use. Just like jump up and get off the ground. But yeah, I don't think it's as safe as this barn. So we'll go this way. Have we still got the, the water in the bucket? Unsafe. Metal bucket used for containing water. Its capacity is 10 liters. And we got another one, didn't we? That is 2.5 liters. So yeah, that's a hefty amount of fluids that we can take on if we can purify them. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. It definitely could have gone better, but we're not dead. So that's something. Let's get inside. There we go. That works. Okay, so we've already got the bucket. And we need metal scrap, stone, and firewood. Let's grab that tomato can while we can. All right, so that shouldn't be too hard to find. I know around these areas, there's a couple of metal scraps. There's nothing in here, right? Okay, can't be doing that all the time. Snapping your ankle up. <laughs> it's a quick way to die. You break your ankles, you can't walk anywhere, you can't find food. Death. Yeah, you definitely cannot drink that. <laughs> At least we can't. I don't know about animals. Maybe they can. With their stronger stomachs. There's actually not as much scrap in this area as I thought there was. They berries? Yeah, give me those. Why am I holding that so heavy now? You know what? We deserve it. We've been looking for things like this all day and we're so close to be able to set in the water purifier up. Let's just... Have a little pick me up. That works. Get the blueberries. Just chow down on these. Oh yeah, that's gotta taste good. I hope. <laughs> I hope they're not disgusting. Okay then. So what I thought was an area that had plenty of scrap actually doesn't. But I did just find another bucket here. So if we can make two water purifiers, I might actually be golden with that. But we'll have to see. Let me know what you think about this place as well. Is this like a, a good area to to call home? Or should we venture out and find out a new place? I don't know. I really like this spot, but there's something about it that's... It feels a little off. I feel like something's coming back to this area. Like, you know, with the animal dung and stuff like that? Like, there's threats that I've not seen yet. What's that going to? That's just going to the uh, electrical cable. But yeah, I think this is where we're going to end it, guys. So, if you're excited to see more, as always, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything. And I'll see you all in the next one.